there. Welcome to our Maytech team interview series. This is a collection of chats aimed to better understand what each role within Maytech is all about and to feature the great work members of our team are doing. My name is Carson. I am the digital marketing executive here at Maytech and today I will be talking with Kyle, a software engineer based in our Swansea office. Kyle, how's it going? Hi, not bad, thanks. Good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. To get started with a little bit about you, how did you become interested in tech? Um, so I first got interested in technology through computer games. Um, my dad bought a couple of consoles back in the 90s when I was younger. Um, we kept kind of going back and forth between us, trying to get one level further than the other before running out of lives and then having to restart. Um, a bit after that, he came home with a desktop PC, um, which they allowed me to use as long as I kind of access websites that they'd pre-approved kind of thing. Mm. Um, one of the ones I kind of Kind of almost fell into was one that you got to like design your own home page using html and css so that was kind of where it kind of went from there um from that point i kind of really got to love it and just that's what i wanted to do from then on then nice cool and outside of tech what hobbies do you have uh, i really love reading um so i'm mostly into my science fiction but i'll read anything um i've got small collection that, that I'm either off, to be honest, would probably rather I get rid of more than I buy. But, um, I've read everything from Hemingway to Stephen Hawking. Um, at the moment, I'm reading Jurassic Park. Um, but I've recently finished How to Avoid a Climate Disaster by Bill Gates, which wow. is quite a read. Nice. So quite a variety in there then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And before you joined Maytech, had you worked in the public sector at all? No, I'd never worked in the public sector. Uh, for each job I've had, it's kind of gone from industry to industry. Uh, mm -hmm. The last job I had was building a SaaS product that we were actively marketing and selling to large organizations and public sector. So there was a little bit of overlap there, but mm -hmm. that was the only real work I'd done with the public sector up until, then, up until now. I see. And how do you find working in the public sector? It's got its own unique appeal and challenges. Uh, the difference I find is that it's a lot more red tape to it. There's a bit of back and forth about requirements and also the whole idea of working on a product that is potentially going to be used by thousands or millions of people is really interesting to do. Mm. Um, my last position was a startup, so the, the kind of user uptake was quite low at the time when I was leaving. But with this now, it's it, it, we know from kind of day one that it's going to be in the hands of potentially thousands of users. So it's a whole different other ball game that is. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. And how long have you been at Made Tech? Uh, I started at Made Tech about six months ago, back in November of two thousand twenty. Cool. How did you find out about the company? Uh, I'd been looking to leave my previous employer um, because I, I'd been there since, as I said, for, since it was a startup around one desk. Um, <laughs> I think it was over 50 employees when I ended up leaving. So the product had gone from proof of concept all the way to a fully functioning product um, that was actively being sold at that point. So I kind of knew the system like the back of my hand at that point so I was looking for a new challenge um I heard about made tech online um through things like LinkedIn and then thought they're both a change in industry and tech stack would be really good for my personal growth sure yeah and what attracted you to made tech in particular um partly was the change in industry um as I said I've each position I've kind of gone from industry to industry just because I think it gives you a bit more of a subtle growth um you get a bit of a background knowledge on each kind of sector that way. And I found that each of that little bit of that background knowledge has kind of lent itself to other positions then later on. Hmm. Um, so there was that element of it, but there's also the fact that the whole um, idea of working with the public sector was just building things to benefit society was kind of a big draw as well. Sure. Yeah, definitely. I think that's when I hear a lot in these interviews is just 
the fact that you can make such a big impact um, on society and, and in the UK, it's really important and kind of exciting to be a part of as well. Yeah. Uh, for anyone who's looking to apply, what was the interview process like for you? Uh, for me, the interview process was really smooth. Um, the interviews were uh, really professional and they were what I'd consider about average in terms of length. Um, I attended, I think it was either three or four sessions altogether and all of them were really pleasant and everybody who interviewed me was, uh, talked to me and kind of treated me almost as though I was just a person rather than just an applicant and just another potential resource, which is what I've found in the past is that you kind of go into an interview and it's more like that feeling of they're looking for a second hand car and whether or not they should buy it rather than kind of looking for a particular person, seeing whether that person fits and everything. Yeah, yeah. That makes a big difference as well in an interview to kind of tell that from the start. Yeah. What does your role here involve? Um, so day to day, my role is generally to solve technical problems and streamline processes, um, building features for organizations in the public sector. Uh, we're using test-driven development day to day to make sure that the build quality is up to scratch and that everything performs to the business requirements that we've been set. Um, other than the kind of technical side of things, I also do uh, blog posts and I've been getting involved in sustainability and made tech just because there's a lot of encouragement to get involved in other sides of the business as well. Yeah. Yeah, for anyone who hasn't yet read your blog post, they should go and check it out. We recently shared it for um, World Environment Day, I believe. It was really yeah. interesting. Um, so that's up on the blog now. What do you like most about being a software engineer? Uh, the two main elements of the job are what I enjoy the most, the problem solving and having to constantly learn new things. Um, I find that because of the speed, the landscape changes in the technology industry, it's, you constantly need to keep up to date with new things that are coming out and mm. each new thing has its own advantages disadvantages and a lot of them are the newer things that are coming out or they just make solving these different problems that you come up against a lot easier and some of them even solve problems that you couldn't solve before because of it cool yeah so what would you say are some of the most challenging things you find about this role uh for me, uh, it's the communication side of things. Um, I really struggle with like anything to do with public speaking or getting in up in front of a camera or people. So it's that sort of side of things for me. Mm. I know a lot of people struggle with like public speaking sort of side of things. So I think it's one of those things that comes up quite a lot in the industry. Um, the other thing I find quite a challenge is taking the requirements we're given and kind of Trying to understand the underlying problem rather than just blindly following what's being asked. Mm. Um, I've fallen into so many traps in the past with other positions where we've been told to kind of follow the requirement of the letter and you end up halfway down the road and then find out it doesn't actually solve the underlying problem, it's just somebody's interpretation of it. Mm. Okay. And can you tell me a bit about the project you've been working on? So I'm currently working part, as part of a team with the DVLA, uh, modernizing their systems. Uh, we're pretty early in the project at the moment, but there's been a lot of positive change in terms of practices and functionality. Uh, everybody's been really welcoming in the project so far and helpful and just a pleasure to work with, to be honest. Nice, great. And do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a software engineer? Uh, the main advice I could probably give is just to get a solid understanding of all the basics of a language because it gives you a good grounding point then to look for positions but on top of that it a lot of the core concepts are the same from language to language and then from there then you can you know learn new languages because they're easier to pick up because you have that core understanding or you can then look at new technologies or tools to pick up uh, the complement the language you know. Sure great. And what do you like most about working at Made Tech? Uh, for me, it's being able to work on projects that benefit society and 
just being valued as a person rather than a resource. Mm. Um, I also like that the whole learning culture here is very much front and center. Um, Matex provided a lot of funding and learning time for me to go and improve my own skills. And since I started in November, I've gone on to do uh, three certifications, a bunch of blog posts, and I'm still looking for new opportunities to grow. And I'm constantly being backed by both my manager and the company as a whole. Nice. Yeah, that's great. And I've got one last question for you. Do you have any books or resources you would recommend for someone interested in this position? Um, if I had to pick a book, I'd probably say the DevOps Handbook. Uh, it was written as a companion piece originally for a book called The Phoenix Project. Um, it talks about a bunch of practices that I find are really useful for development teams, but also it kind of comes in line with a lot of the practices we follow at Mead Tech. Mm. Uh, in terms of other resources, I listen to quite a lot of tech podcasts. Um, I really enjoy listening to Changelog, Coding Blocks, and a bit outside of what I use day to day is I quite enjoy listening to the Darknet Diaries, which is more of a computer security sort of podcast. Cool. Nice. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. It was really interesting hearing about your experience and what your role is like. And if anyone would like to get in touch with Maytech or has any more questions for Kyle about his role here, I will add our contact information to the description below. Please feel free to reach out and be sure to stay tuned for our next Maytech team interview coming next month. Again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Yeah, thanks. Bye.